y'all. Welcome back to American Dilly. Today, I'm doing another home improvement project. That's right, the DIY Dilly is back. Today, my wife's got this doorway for the kitchen and she wants barn doors on it. And that's right, and she wants barn doors on it and I'm cheap and I'm not buying expensive barn doors. So I'm doing it myself. I'm gonna show you guys how we can do it for a fraction of the price and make this look just like something you bought online or you saw on Amazon or whatever. So stay tuned, we're jumping into this. Let's do it. All right guys, first things first, we went to Home Depot, we bought all the lumber we needed. I measured the door frame of the door that we wanted to put these barn doors on and decided that, that would be a really big barn door. So what I did was divided it by two. I'm gonna end up be making two smaller barn doors that give it more of that double door feel. Um, here we are now laying the wood together. We're making slat doors, okay? So these are gonna give the real effect of like ranch doors on a barn. Uh, we're gonna lay all the wood together, make sure everything's properly measured, put together. Okay, as you can see right here, we're making sure it all fits on our frame. Oh man, I'm so excited about these doors. I think they're gonna come together really well. What you wanna make sure though is that it's very even together so that when you lay your frame boards on, which I'm doing right now, is that the door gives you the frame. Nothing hangs out, nothing overlaps. You know what I mean? You just want that good feel, especially when you're trying to make something that's like store bought, or at least looks store bought. You know what I mean? Here we go right now, we're gonna put in our hardware onto the back, holding the frames down. And that's, uh, that's pretty much the just of Alright, so as y'all can see, man, I got my basic door put together, man. Basic door put together right now. Uh, definitely gonna have to do some sanding. I'm about to put the edging on it, so it can be just like the other one that we built. Uh, so, yeah, stay tuned. Here we're putting that decorative border on. What I did was measure in between our initial boards, subtract it, and then screw them on. And so there you have it. I got my semi-finished product. Now what I want to do now is I've made sure that they both stand good together. They look good. We've got decorative screws on the front. Most of the hardware comes through the back. Um, I'm gonna put some hardware on the side, you know, to give you the nice little door handles. But I gotta sand these down now and give them a nice real stain just to make it just just to make it look perfect. Here we go. Once again, just like our last product, we want to make sure that the stain is evenly distributed all over the wood. That way it gets a nice golden finish and just brings out the wood accents into these boards. And that's truly going to make them look like a product that you would have, you know, found somewhere else. Not, not homemade. The staining is really what brings out the beauty in the wood and just gives you that... Mm, feel when people see it. I mean, I truly think these doors are looking amazing so far. All right, y'all, check it out. We got them, we got the doors put together now. We got them stained. Uh, we even put some little handles on them. These give the appearance of like, you know, barn doors. Now, mind you, I want to say this. These are home decor barn doors. They're going to serve the purpose of the door in the doorway, but I'm not penning in animals, okay? These doors are not going to stop a bull from coming out of the kitchen, but they will definitely stop my wife from seeing in the kitchen, if that makes sense. That's what she wants. So anyway, while we wait for these to finish drying, they're still a little moist, we're gonna start putting up the brackets and the track lines and uh, just, hey, we're gonna get ready, man. Let's do this. Hardware's a crucial step. So when you're doing it, make sure you measure twice, drill once. All right, there you go. We got the hardware put on. Got the hardware put on. Mm -mm -mm. Now we're about to go put the track on the wall. That's coming together real nicely. All right, so as you can see, we moved some stuff from over there to over here. Shout out to Uncle Joel for this good homemade wine. Mm -mm -mm. It's helping me through this demo project right now. About to take these shelves off the wall, hang the track, and we're gonna bring the doors in. It's a big day, it's a big day. Right. Hanging the track is pretty important. You wanna make sure you measure the top of the door so the door actually hangs right with movement to move. But you also wanna find studs. If you don't find studs, problems will arise and it happens pretty quick. All right, y'all, well, here we go. My first problem 
with home improvement crap. Look at this. Look at this right here. The stud is here. My bolt needs to go in here. And now I got a big old hole in my damn drywall. It looks like I'm going back to Home Depot. God, man. Just disappointed. Just so disappointed in this. All right, y'all. Just got back from Home Depot. I got this little bad boy right here. Apparently, it's supposed to grab a hold of my drywall if I had this big ass problem. But it's okay. It's okay. We're going to fix our problems and we're going to get these barn doors on before you know it. And there you have it, guys. Homemade barn doors. Okay? And don't worry, after this, my receipts are going to flash because I am under budget by 20 bucks. That's right. Right here. $180. $180. The track, the doors, we just, we made it beautiful, man. We made it beautiful. Look at this. Oh, oh, look at that. All right, there you have it, man. Leave me a like and subscribe down bottom and a comment. Comments are always accepted. I like all comments. Let me know if you guys have built doors. Let me know if you watch my shelf video. Let me know what you guys do around your house, man. Share a story, I'll share a story. That's how we do it, man. This was American Daily. I am American Daily, and I'm signing off. Until next time, stay safe. America.